Good day, everyone all over the world. I'm Dr. Clyde Rivers here on the Golden Rule Show. I have Mina Holmes with me again, and people around the world, you will be blessed by what we talk about today. There's been, there's been something that's been on my heart lately about faith. Uh, I look at, at everything going on in America, the different things going on in the world, and I was talking with Mina about faith, and, and there was a comment that, that, that she mentioned about faith. Mina, could you share what you said about faith? Well, I meant, uh, uh, take for example, I, I became a Christian when I was 14, so I'm supposed to know about faith, but when I came to America all by myself, and I ran into big, big obstacles, I didn't know uh, anybody, maybe one person, and uh, I was laid off. I really needed a lot of things, and I was so tired because I just couldn't figure out what else to do. And at that time, I had to ask myself, so what happened? Where is my God? Hmm. At that time, I realized, wow, I really did not have faith. Why? Looking back, I was from Taiwan. I, I grew up in the middle, uh, middle class, and uh, I had a pretty good job you know, out of college. So all throughout my life, up to that point, I did not need God to have wow. a good life. Wow. You know, I, didn't, I really didn't need to pray or healing or anything or finance because it was around me already. Although yeah. I wasn't really rich, but at least I was okay, you know. Yeah. I really did not need faith. I think most people are like that. You know, you grow up with your parents and they have okay family, okay uh, neighborhood. Yes. Until one day when you're by yourself, when you face the reality, that's when that day you ask yourself, so, oh, I thought I'm a Christian. What happened to my God? Well, lo and behold, because I did not really need God to survive. Wow. I really did, did not need faith. Wow. So that moment I had to face the choice. Okay, do I believe, in, do I believe there's a God? Uh, that's yes. the fundamental question. Is, does God exist? You know, okay, if God exists, how do I access to this God? How do I have faith? How do I have this faith working for me? Yes. So I would suggest at that time my uh, turning point was I then start to ask. I really go down to the scripture. It says, whoever comes to God needs to believe that there is a God. Oh, okay. First step, you have to believe there is a God. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Two, he reward those who diligently seek him. Mm. In other words, I don't just seek him today. I have to diligently seek him tomorrow also. Yes. Okay. And I had to believe he would reward me. Well, lo and behold, he did show up. And that's another scripture really is helpful. I uh, make a phone call to the only one friend I had in America. <laughs> only one. <laughs> and I, I said, oh, help, I'm in trouble, you know. And he said, read Psalms. <laughs> Psalms. Okay, there's a lot of scripture in Psalms. Okay, I realized that David's uh, verses really was helpful, especially this one. There was one. God, I cry out to you from the end of earth. I was crying out. Yeah. You have to cry out. Yeah. Do you cry out? I think a lot of people are crying out. You, lo you lost your house. You lost everything. You, you lost your neighborhood. Mm. You lost everything. Mm. Do you cry out? Yes, you do. Cry out from the end of earth. God, take me to the rock that's higher than I. Yes. Because I'm under the, underneath the rock now. I'm being overwhelmed. Yes. My heart is overwhelmed. Yes. Because the water, because I'm drowning. I'm yes. overwhelmed. But God, you take me to the rock that's higher than I. You know what happened? Lo and behold, miracle did happen. And uh, by the way, I am, I am not anybody special. This applies to any single person. Yes. Because God is no respecter of persons. You see, what she's saying here is this. Guys, listen to me. Right now in America, I feel like faith is being challenged with all the storms and everything that's going on, faith is being challenged. If you heard what Mina said, she said, when you have everything, you, you really don't need faith. I remember another minister told me, America is the only place that you can make it without faith. Your bills, you can eat every day, you can have a shelter every day without God. So if you understand what this great woman of God is saying, she's saying, basically, in America now, 
we need our faith. Our systems, our understanding is being devastated. The world around us, there's floods, there's all this stuff, and it's, it, and it's, it's real easy not to trust God because life has been so easy. So when it gets to the point that Mina is talking about, now you have to go to the rock. And guys, Mina is, 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 is a small lady in stature, but this woman works with Mepotis Shield, the actual prayer shield for Donald Trump. This woman is a woman of influence around the entire world for the entire Asian nations, for the Asian countries. She is an actual voice for that region around the world. And she's saying that it's so easy at times not to, to if, you live, uh, if you live in America or around the world, and it's easy if you live in a middle class life to escape Jesus. But one day you won't. Go ahead, Mina, would you continue? So one day we won't because in our lifetime it's going up and down. And at that moment, all the rocks was taken away from me. That's really, that was what happened. I feel like I was dying. So I cried out to God, take me to the rock that's higher than I. He showed up. Actually, I fell asleep on my couch. And then I was, I was picked up by a being. Mm. You know, I believe it was an angel. And uh, I remember that Jesus. feeling that uh, when I was a little girl, I fell asleep and uh, my father or uncle picked me up from the couch and took me to my bedroom to sleep. I remember in that beam, picked me up. I felt good. I was thinking, wow. At that time, it was, I was in my early 30s already, but I never was picked up like that. And then the beam uh, took me up and I, I could feel the breeze around my body and, and my toes. And I was taken up and up and up. And I could look down, it was like, wow. That is me. I never saw me in that angle. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I said, that is me now laying on the couch. Then I was picking up to, and I could see the houses. Eventually, Angel uh, took me to a place, looked like a, a nurse's station. Then gently put me on the bed, looked like a nurse's station. Then Angel uh, gave me a spoon and said, open your mouth. I opened my mouth and uh, there was uh, something put under my tongue. Tasted very sweet. Okay, and after that, I rested a little bit. Then I was taken down. The same process was very uh, pleasant. I feel the breeze, and I was back to, to my bed. From that point on, I feel strength. The difference is my circumstances did not change right away. It did not. Okay. Not at all, because you know, I, everything is still the same. Yes. I was still alone. Yes. You know, the circumstances was still very bad. I got no job. <laughs> Because okay. <laughs> I was just laid off. Yes. <laughs> Still no relatives, no friends. But God gave me strength. It, it changed my mindset. Suddenly I was a changed person. Jesus. I, was, I feel like I was full of joy and hope. So I started, I'm thinking, okay, I heard somebody says, you know, to look for a job is a full-time job. So if you work for eight hours, then you spend eight hours look for a job. Okay. okay, so I spent eight hours looking for a job. So I uh, got an interview right away and uh, got a job. So I think the difference is, if I were to share with you, you really seek out. God will show up because he cannot deceive. He does not deceive us. He does not lie to us. And he said, if you come to me, I reward you. And at that, that place of desperation, I cried out. He showed up. Give yes. me strength and hope. I still had to walk out. Yes. Yeah. Apply for a job. Yes. Go to the interview. Yes. You know, go learn how to drive a car. Yes. <laughs> you see, what she's saying is this. Um, please, guys, God is trying to bring us to a different consciousness now. He's really been dealing with me. He says, my government, my kingdom is another way of thinking. It's another consciousness so when God gives you a thought and a, an idea, it supersedes the natural realm. Mina has said something so powerful. It didn't change overnight. She got, uh, uh, God spoke to her, inspired her, the Holy Spirit filled her, but she had to walk it out. And people, sometimes that walking out process is where your mind has to capture the image of God. There's a war in the world and that, and that war isn't with, it's not with big bad demons. It's a war over your consciousness. 
Are you going to let God think through you or are you going to filter it through your intellect? He wants to filter things through your spirit, not through your intellect. And when he can filter things through your spirit, he will manifest his presence like never before. Mina, would you continue? Yes. <clears throat> and I also learned that things do not change overnight. And, but that is God's grace to build our faith. Mm. I learned that God doesn't really need us to give him wealth or anything. But we need to learn how to walk and to grow in our faith. Why? Because he has a kingdom to give to us. Oh my he God. has a destiny to give to us. But we need to exercise our muscles to, to walk out and to practice these muscles so they become stronger. Why? Because you've got greater things for you to do. Are you, did, did you guys hear that? So, so, so it talks about the, that brother's excited over there. My man or the prophet is excited in the house right now <laughs> because th this is what's so important about this is you have to understand that our trials are not to break us. Our trials are to elevate us. So whatever you're going through out there, I challenge you, don't, don't, don't bind the devil. Don't cast that thing out. Walk through it. There's an education piece in it from heaven. God will fill you with what you can't imagine when you make it through the trial and he puts your feet firm on the next level. Mina, would you continue? Amen. I grew up as a Lutheran, so I have scripture in me, yeah. but those were just readings <laughs> until when I really need it. Then I realized, oh boy, I had to renew my mind. Wow, so the better ground is in my mind, how I think and perceive things. That's how I would react to it. If I believe I had the mind of Christ, then wouldn't I want to act like I'm like Christ? How would Christ act in this circumstance, right? Would he be crying, you know, begging? No, he command. <laughs> Right? So there's Absolutely. a lot of ex examples. So I have to really affirm the scripture. Okay, in the name of Jesus, I have the mind of Christ. Mm. In the name of Jesus, all mm. things work together for good for those who love him and, and are called according to his purpose, which is everybody. So the encouragement is, okay, you have to understand, I was a foreigner to this foreign land. Yes. I did not know anyone. I didn't know how to drive. Actually, at the point of my crying out to God, I got nothing. <laughs> I yeah. mean, really, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> I think a lot of people at this point uh, now, yes, yes, he went yes, through this, yes. okay? But God is tried and true. He loves. Now I know the whole Bible is love. You know, uh, I can look back. Yeah. The trials are his strange way of showing his love if we take the opportunity to really grow ourselves because Jesus. he has a kingdom for us. Okay, we have a we ask for God's kingdom come. And what is his kingdom? Is kingdom lacking? No. Is kingdom sorrow? No. Is kingdom loneliness? No. No. Kingdom is happiness, wealth. Because you says he says in the Revelation, the streets are made of gold. It's yes. really wealthy good place and happy place. All right, Jesus. so I want his kingdom come, meaning I want that kind of kingdom to be mm. lived through my life on earth as it is in heaven. So the kingdom, we don't wait till that day. We do it now. Let's do it now. Let's bring the kingdom come now. Uh, is That's it amazing. real? Yes. A, do, you, do you hear what she's saying? People, this morning in, in my prayer time, the Lord spoke to me. He said, you have not because you ask not. And that, that sounds so simple. And then he began to show me everything I wasn't asking for. Everything I wasn't asking for. And then, and then what he began to do, he began to like deal with, with actually wrong thinking in me. So in the midst of it, he says, you have wrong thoughts about this. You have wrong thoughts about money. You have wrong thoughts about this. You have wrong thoughts about, you have fear thoughts. And he began to expose Every thought in me that was withholding what he told me I could freely ask for. I want to encourage Ken Smith, Dr. Ken Smith. This is a season where your childlike faith 
will bring everything God's ordained for you. What is what is taking place is God is is he shifting our faith. Mina has said something so powerful. She said there's another level in our kingdom training. So hear this people. Our trials are not to destroy us. It's to act train us for reigning at the next level. So people, we get the ability to exercise our faith in the midst of trials. We get the ability to grow our muscles so our faith can grow. Mina Holmes, would you continue? Yes. Wait, wait, stop for a second. Blessing the people <laughs> of the world. Go ahead. Blessings. You brought a great point. That childlike. That's another thing I had to learn. Again, grew up with a Lutheran, you know, we're really uh, very, uh, look like we're really humble and uh, stable people. But really, we have so much scripture inside that we couldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> we're so mature that we couldn't act out. We couldn't be really joyful. We couldn't abandon ourselves because we we're so full of ourselves. Okay, the thing I had to learn is God is a creative God. God created all this. You look at the dogs, how many kinds of dogs are there? Yeah. And you look at the cats, you look at the animals, kingdoms, you know? So many designs. So why is it we are so limiting our own thinking that you must act this way, you must dress this way, you must follow this because this always has been in our church. We have done this 40 years wow. now this way. That's good. No. God continues to create. The kingdom continues to expand. So what do I do? I affirm again. I say, Lord, it is my free will. I let go of my own thinking. <clears throat> I forgive <clears throat> every single person that offended me. I let you go. I forgive you. I let you go. I commit you to go from my soul. And I ask for, for, for forgiveness from God, of course, so that I can be reborn again every day. I'm a new person, so I can be returned like a child, so I can receive, this vessel can receive ideas. Mm. I can mm. be open to opportunities. Mm. I can to open to new creative way of thinking, either business ideas or any calling. And uh, trust me, if you know me, I mean, gosh, God gives opportunities. Of course, if this is through Jesus. diligent pursuit Jesus. and a praying. Jesus. But when the door opens, you are ready. Opportunity is ready for people who are prepared. Have you prepared yourself? Have you exercised your muscles to this point? Are you loyal? Are you faithful in the small things, wow. small tasks? Wow. Then wow. he can trust you to give something bigger, something bigger, something bigger. You first pray for yourself, pray for your family. Have you done that? Have you prayed for your cities? Mm -hmm. Have you prayed for your state, your nation? Yes. Have you answered a call to do corresponding action to that prayer? Do you, people, let me, let me, I want to encourage you with what Mina's saying. I, for a second, I want to go deep for a minute. Time is a part of the fall of man. In the beginning, it was only an eternal spirit realm where everything was now. Let me tell you. Everything was now. So, so when you walk in the real kingdom of God, God gives you stuff, and it's always now. That's why the scripture says, now faith is. Faith can only be now because God only has a now. Time is part of the fall, so what happens is this, is God, God says he has to redeem the time. Why? Because time is part of the fall. So he had to redeem to buy time back. What am I saying? We are trying to prepare you for the acceleration of God, and what's been lacking is these simple things in your faith have been lacking. Mina has, has, has given nuggets of simple faith that will elevate all of you around the world. Let me tell you, if you think you're doing good, God has much, much more. But what has to happen is this. He wants to filter it through your spirit and not your intellect, and he will not educate your head on the how-to. 
It's steps of obedience, Mina, every day. Am I right about that? Yes, yes. Well, you are right. We, we have three parts, body, soul, and the spirit. Yes. Okay. When we are born again, our spiritual man awakened. Yes. You know, that's forever already. But our soul is the, being, is the part is still being exercised. Yes. That's yes. the part we need to grow because our body we need to exercise yes. and yes. we eat yes. properly, yeah. you know. But our soul part is the struggle. Yes. But yes. that is the part that God wants to mm. come and occupy. Yes. So he can train mm. and grow us mm. to mm. bring his kingdom come, mm. you know, kingdom come to earth so that his glory can come. Yes. You know, what is his glory? We already said earlier, you know, it's not lacking. It's abundance. Yes. It is not sorrow. It's joy. You know, I uh, hate to tell you I'm 64. But it took me this long. <laughs> I hope you can get it right now. <laughs> that it start from the first step. Really, yes. only mm. the little, little, simple step. Mm. Let's get reborn again. We abandon mm. ourselves. God mm. ask us to remind our mind. That is, we our mind renew, and we got to go back to like mm. one child. Accept, just accept, Man. and believe the little things. Every day, repeat. Every day, every day, he gives you new revelation. Yeah. Then just gradually, he brings into the bigger things. That's beyond your imagination. And I, I, you know, I'm happy to tell you, my experience in the last few years is just uh, way incredible. <laughs> you, know, you know, everyone out there watching on TV land all over the world, let go of discouragement today. We just walked you in to the most simple form of God. I so feel with all my heart, every one of you, God has created you for something more. His plan for you is bigger. Don't get discouraged in your education. Because as, as Mina said, there's a kingdom that we're gonna rule and reign. So God has to prepare us for the rulership. And sometimes it is trials that you go through, but he tells you to count it all joy when you're going through trials. And, and I, I wanna explain something to you really quick. It's John 10.10. 10. I'm gonna give you the enemy's job description to steal, kill, and destroy. That's not create. The enemy is not a creator. So what I wanna share with you is every time you're under attack, it's because you have it. Are you hearing me? Oh. He, he, he's come to steal or deform the image. So, so if you have it, you can be attacked. If it's alive, it can be killed. If it's built, it can be destroyed. So every time you're under attack, it's a full revelation from God that you have to receive and hold on to by faith. I'm telling you people, God is bringing us to a realm to where the miracles don't take six months now. Miracles happen right now because God can raise Lazarus right now. God can resurrect a fig tree right now. God can heal your body right now. God can pay your bills right now. God can abundantly bless you right now, but it's the hindrances that are within your mind. You say, I don't qualify. Yes, you do. Lord, uh, Lord, I feel unworthy. You're not unworthy because what God has said, God is going to bless you above your education, above your intellect. It's the favor of God. There's a brand new season on America right now. I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. Faith is resting over every city, and the people of God need to understand how to pull that faith in because God is breaking old systems right now. He's breaking old systems of inequality, inequity. He is breaking. He's exposing them. So God is, is about to do an elevation for everyone watching in the realm of the spirit, but you will understand how to be a steward over God's kingdoms because governments of the world are not God's structure. God's 
structure is a kingdom with a good king. And people, we need a good king to govern the world. And he calls us kings of kings. And in the scriptures, God gave man dominion over everything except for each other. He never gave man dominion over each other. He gave man dominion over the earth. And people, I release right now an accelerated season of God where God is superseding. He's going to run you above and beyond what you can ask or imagine. This is God's season right now. It officially starts today. God breaks the spirit of poverty, the spirit of infirmity. Those things are gone right now. Donnie Pinto, there's a, a move of God that's taking place over ICN right now. God is giving us above and beyond what we can ask or imagine. And this is what God says, people. He says, don't fear the abundance. The Man, the spirit of God says, I'm breaking the fear over abundance. He says people's minds are afraid of the abundance because they're afraid they'll mismanage it. God says, I'll give it to you. I'll show you what to do. So his people open your hearts for the abundance of God. There's an abundance anointing that's right now because God says in this world is calling forth a famine. God says heaven has no famine. My kingdom never has a famine. How dare you say that I'm, I'm God of the world and people are starving in a famine. There is no famine. There's mismanagement and God says I'm taking over the management of the world systems now and you'll see it. It'll begin to happen in every nation of the world. That that's corrupt is going to fall and God says my kingdom standard is being raised up like never before. Mina Holmes, take Amen. us home. Amen. Exactly. We <clears throat> are a partner to God's kingdom. Yes. Okay. God doesn't do it for us but he shows up when we ask him. You know, when you talk about we receive. Yes. The abundance. Yes. John 10, 10. Yes, yes. Jesus said I come to give you life and life, life more, more abundantly. Yes, yes. But it starts from here. Mm -hmm. So when you have stinking thinking, Come you know, on. what is stinking thinking? Depression? Yes. Complaining? Yes. Comparison, jealousy, all this? Yes. When the stinking thinking comes, you say, no, get away. I reject you. Jesus' name. Get out of here in Jesus' name. I reject you. I told you to leave me. I receive God's word. The word says what? Jesus come. Say, I give you life and life more abundantly. We say, yes, Jesus, I receive you. I receive you, the, etern the eternal life, but I also receive you, your promise. Now, the now is the abundance life. Mm. The abundance comes mm. in not just spiritually, right. in your soul, but also your material uh, and your relationships. Yes, you know, right. all this uh, dignity, honor, all this comes with it. Uh, again, does the, com does the kingdom grow in one day? No. No. Why? Because God is looking for a partner, a child like us. We grow. We grow and we grow, we grow. So we can rule with him every day. The victory comes in every day, every step. Every day you can have a victory. The victory comes in every time you reject the thinking, thinking, and that you do what God asks you to do. My God, ladies and gentlemen, all around the world, we pray for you right now. We decree the spirit of faith Amen. to go through the TV lines Amen. over every country where Amen. there is famine. We decree the Amen. prosperity of God. We Amen. pray management in countries Amen. that can lead it. We pray Amen. over over every orphan in the world that they Amen. find their destiny in God. Amen. And Father, we pray that you give us brand new Amen. blueprints of how to build nations of the world Amen. to where every individual that's a gift in this world will be able to Amen. maximize their gift and bring the full potential of God to this world. Father, we are so blessed right Amen. now, Father. And Lord, we thank Amen. you for this. And Father, we just ask that you would expand this word, that as people hear it, they pass it on to others. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. I am Dr. Clyde Amen. Rivers, and you have watched The Golden Rule Show. Thank you, and God bless you all.